Hi, my name's David. I'm here to show you statutory compliance for Germany and Descara books. First, we're going to click set up your own organization. Then we're going to select the tax registry. So we're going to select Germany. We're going to select the currency. We can put in the financial year, start date, and the book beginning date. So for example, if I want to change this, I can change this to, for example, March 1st. And then I can create. Congratulations, your German organization has been successfully set up. All right, let's explore the app first. Let's click Settings, and let's click on Organization Profile. Next, I'm going to click the pencil icon. Inside here, I can change the date format. Under Finances, I can determine if it's multi-currency or not, the number of decimal places, and the number format. Now inside here, I can select the currencies I want to add. For example, United States Dollar, United Kingdom Pound Sterling, and Save. Next, I can go to Compliance. I can put in my company registration number, my tax number, and my VAT identification number. Then I can go to Address. Now we just enter the address. For example, K-A-M-E-N-K-A-R-R-E-E, -E -E 18. And the address should automatically pop up here, and I can select it, and I can click Update. Now you can see everything's been updated. Next, let's go to Settings. Let's click on Taxes. Inside here, you can see your different tax types, like mobile purchases, mobile sales, purchase of goods. You can see the description, the tax code, account name, type, and if you want to hide it or not. So, for example, if they don't relate to you, you can just click the eye icon to hide them. You can also add a tax group by clicking Add Tax Group. Inside here, we can input the name. So, for example, Group Tax. Any description, input the tax code. Determine if it's for sales or purchase. And I can add in the tax components here. So, for example, if I click here, I just want to add in, for example, um, reverse charge, and I want to add in here other rates. I can add it here. And then I can determine, does this apply to pre-tax amount or after-tax amount? And then I can save. And you can see our group has been created. Next, let's click on Settings, and let's click on Currency. So inside here, I can see all the different types of currencies. I can see which ones are visible and which ones are hidden. And if I want to add a new one, I can just scroll down and just click on the eye icon. I can also select on the ones I want, and I can activate them as well. We also can filter and search for records here as well. And if I want to hide it or disable it, I can go here and select the one I want, and I can deactivate it. And I also can click on the eye icon as well. So for example, if I click deactivate, it deactivates. I can also update the rate here. So for example, I can click change rate. And I can see the rate here. And then I can update accordingly. And I can save. I can also view past rates here as well. If it's deactivated, I can see all the old rates. Next, let's go to the dashboard. And let's go over here to the language selector. And let's select German. You can see now all the information has changed to German, and you can see the tabs here have also changed to German as well. And that was a quick look at German statutory compliance in Descara books.